Hi, I'm Don at UniqueParts.com. I'm going to just take a couple minutes in this short video and show you a fantastic upgrade and a much needed upgrade to the throttle linkage on the 58 to 66 classic Volkswagen. Now what I've done is I've got a pedal assembly that came out of the cars here and what I've done is I've removed the brake and also the clutch arm and I put them on this display here and I've lined them both up so we can see exactly the differences between the two. Now as we look at the original pedal set up here, the hinge is mounted, or the bracket, is mounted to the pan. It's heat stamped into your pan. So now the pedal is attached to this bracket here. And what they've used is a pin and a spring here to apply a little bit of pressure, forward pressure, uh, moving the pedal this way. Now this is the linkage right here that goes for that throttle assembly here and they just have this little small spring right here that holds the arm onto the pedal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how that is mounted. Here's a cluster right here and the arm fits inside the cluster. Now the pivot pin as you see has a larger, it's got a head on one side. Now that head is going to go from the tunnel side all the way through the cluster. So this is where the tunnel would be at, it's right here. So now we put that linkage on and put the pin in, like so, and the tunnel holds the pin in. Now this linkage here attaches to the pedal. Gotta put this washer on first. Attaches the pedal like this. And now we take this little small spring. That's the only thing that's holding the arm onto the pedal. And the way that attaches is you have to push it on like this, and then it snaps on over like that. Now what happens is if you look at this, that spring can pop off, and when it does, the arm comes off of the linkage, and now you have no acceleration. Over time, as these parts begin to wear out in here, and also there, the linkage gets very sloppy, and the pedal gets very sloppy in motion here. Now the new design, or the upgrade, is the speedball. Now I've taken that pedal assembly that I mentioned earlier and I've mounted the speed ball here and you can get an idea what this is going to look like. This is the way the pedal assembly is going to mount into your car. This is the tunnel side here. We never see that and the motion of the clutch arm. But this is the new speed ball right here and this is what you're, you're going to move your throttle. You have the throttle cable being attached here going back to your carburetor. And it has, as I mentioned, the speedball. So let me show you a little bit more on the demo uh, that I have setting here so you can better see exactly what we're doing. Now, if you'll notice the pedals on the display here, this is the original height. Now, I've made this pedal here a little bit higher, almost about an inch higher than the original. So that gives you more foot room inside the car also to be able to press on the accelerator. So now, I'll just turn this back around. By the way, this pedal is made out of 6061 T6. And I'll just show you what that looks like right here. It's all powder coated. And it has a bracket here at the bottom that's been uh, welded on, TIG welded on. And now, instead of using this type of pin to hold the pedal onto the bracket on the floor, we're using a six millimeter uh, metric bolt and uh, now you just tighten that up. We don't have to worry about that spring. What I've done is I've provided a spring here, a spring return that's going to hold the pedal down onto the roller ball. So let me just turn this around this way here and you can see that. Now here's the return spring here that's mounted this way. So now that applies a little bit pressure from the pedal onto the ball itself. As you notice the pedal is, the spring is moving that pedal back in position so it's ready for you to you know, step on for acceleration. So now as we press the pedal you can see the action of this ball. Now what I've done is also used a longer stainless steel pin. We are encapsulating this one support on the cluster. As you see there's two here now well, what we've done is we've taken a longer a stainless steel pin, pivot pin, and now we're going all the way through the cluster. And we are putting a E-clip here, which I have right here. We put an E-clip on the pivot pin, like so. Oh, 
All right. Now, as you'll notice from here, now that pivot pin, it becomes a shaft that the horseshoe type bracket here, we call it the speed ball, but you can see it's a horseshoe. There's multiple levers here, and they fit and uh, encapsulates that uh, shoulder or that support there. And so now when you press on the ball, it's very, very smooth. This ball is riding on your pedal. So it's a great upgrade. It also comes with a the rubber pad in the kit. In fact, I'll show you what the kit looks like. This is what you're going to get. You get the... 6061 T6 flat pedal here. You get the speed ball roller ball here. Comes with the stainless steel pin. It's all assembled, ready to go in. And uh, you get the rubber pad that goes over the top of the pedal. And also in the kit, you're furnished a uh, universal throttle cable. So you can cut this cable to length. So it's a complete Z bar link conversion kit. So check out uniqueparts.com and uh, you can see other upgrades that are made for the classic Volkswagen.